Mounting solar panels on metal roofs often requires a fleet of different attachments to match the variety of metal roof profiles that are out there. But there may be a simpler way. Here to make the pitch today is Steve Muma, CEO of Sunmoto. Hey, Steve, how are you doing today? Good to be here, and it's great to see you again. So Sunmoto has a few new attachments for metal rooftops that I wanted to get into today, the uh, MRB and the nano bit. Before we looked at those specifically, I was hoping you could give some insight into the R&D process on those products. When we first started looking at a new family of metal roof attachments, I went and I counted the number of metal roof attachment SKUs that we were selling at that point. And I don't remember the exact number, but it was in the range of 17 SKUs. And that's not fun for anybody. And I, and I think that's an issue that that most everybody in the industry faces. Everybody likes to have a smaller number of SKUs. So metal roofs have always been difficult for distributors and installers and the manufacturers for that reason. And I think it's largely driven by the fact that metal roofs uh, tend to be very regional. Um, so there's just tons of different shapes and profiles and whatnot. So it's hard to have products that are better that versatile. So, you know, our, our goal was to sort of go back to the drawing board and come up with products that provided uh, better value in terms of cost, but also better value in terms of versatility, having a, a smaller number of products that will work for most every metal roof that people will come across. All right, so now let's look at the products. Let's start with the nano bit because this one looked, uh, I was kind of surprised by the look of it in that metal roof attachments don't generally uh, look this way. So I guess if you could uh, talk a little bit about uh, the nano bit. So given that we've got a pretty good brand established for the nano mount, um, we wanted to kind of continue that with what we are calling the nano bit. So visually looks pretty similar to the nano mount. Uh, the main difference is that it only accepts a lag bolt. So uh, for any metal roof where you have an opportunity to attach to a rafter or a purlin, the nano bit is a good option. It was largely driven by the fact that we had a lot of people using the nano mount on metal roofs, which is fantastic. It'll work great. The problem is that the base of the nano mount is wider than a lot of the flat portions on metal roofs. So nano bit much smaller fit in a smaller area, also lower cost because it's less material and only takes a lag bolt. The other great thing about the nano bit is that it will do dual use for us because it is completely able to be used on a comp shingle roof. So it will be a, a companion product to the nano mount, not just in form and function, but also to, to offer another option for people on the comp roof. So when you talk about the, the niche of being able to attach with the nano bit, like how how small is is the niche we're talking? Could you expand on like what type of metal roof profile are we talking about for this? It it would work on any trapezoidal roof. That would be the the main place where where you would use it. And I think the advantage of it compared to our our MRB that we'll get to in a minute um, would be that since it is attaching to a structural member with a lag, it will have a higher pull up force. Um, so it'll be a, a little more specialized. But I think when there's an opportunity to use it, it will offer the opportunity to have longer spans, therefore lower cost um, compared to other other roof attachments. My gut says in terms of our overall metal roof mix, it will be a, a smaller portion than the, the next product we're going to talk about, the MRB. Last question on the nano bit. Does yeah. it work with your SMR system? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything everything we're launching um, is is fully compatible with our SMR system. Everything will have a have an open L foot on the top, so our L foot adapter slides right in, and and that's an absolute requirement for us. We've had just amazing success with the SMR system. Uh, most of the geographic markets that we've we've entered, um, we've had had pretty quick success in gaining substantial market share and moving into a leading position. A um, couple markets around the country that we're just moving into this year, like the Southwest and the Northeast uh, and the, the Mountain West area. Uh, and we're looking forward to doing the same there. And, and you know, I think with us, it's, um, it's a two pronged approach in that the, the SMR rail system kind of speaks for itself in terms of the value and speed of install. But we do also look at our roof attachments as sort of an entry point. It's easier to get somebody to change a roof attachment than it is a rail. Um, so, you know, having the best roof attachments on the market really helps us, 
you know, get our foot in the door, so to speak, with people. We've mentioned it a couple of times, the, the MRB. I wanted to take a look at that. The design intent of the MRB is to work on the vast, vast majority of metal roof profiles, other than standing seam roofs. That's a kind of a different category. So the MRB looks like so. It has an L foot on top, and then it has flexible wings on the side. So the flexible wings essentially allow you to attach in just about any type of form factor. So um, corrugated roofs and trapezoidal roofs have historically been the more difficult ones to attach to, just because of the fact that there's a lot of different shapes of corrugation, there's a lot of different shapes of trapezoids. So with the MRB, if you're on a corrugated roof or a trapezoidal roof, the wing, wings can fold down and attach to the sides of that. Um, the advantage in that case is that your roof penetration is, is sort of elevated above the lowest point. So water is less likely to be present in those locations and therefore it just you know, makes, your, makes your ceiling easier. We do have an EPM, EPDM gasket on the bottom. So we're gonna get a good seal, but elevating above the low points does help with that. So the other adjustment we have here is that these wings can slide in and out. So you can accommodate a, a very wide range of different shapes of profiles. And then the other advantage is that there are products on the market that can do that. The one thing we can do is that the MRB can go completely flat. So if you want to mat, if you want to mount it just to the flat space on a on a metal roof, you can do that as well. And and that's why I feel confident saying that it will attach to just about any type of metal roof. You either need a corrugation or a trapezoid or a flat spot on the roof somewhere in that range. Uh, this is a deck mount, so you don't need to worry about finding a structural member. And our test data on it will cover both situations where you're just attaching to the sheet metal, and then also if you're attaching to a wood deck underneath. Could you demonstrate the steps of installation there? It it ships fully assembled, so it comes out of the box like this. Nothing that you've got to put together on the roof. Uh, we also, you can see the strips on the bottom. Underneath there is an EPDM gasket, but the strips are there because there's an adhesive on that EPDM gasket. Uh, and that adhesive is there you know, primarily as an installation aid. So anything that's adjustable can be a little bit hard to work with because you've got a lot of degrees of freedom and things that are moving. So uh, the adhesive is there, so you can peel those strips off and then you find your roof profile and you, you know, slide things in and out and, and move your wings till you're at the right angle and the right distance. And then you can just stick it on the roof. And at that point, you torque this bolt on the top and then that locks those wings together, put your screws in and you're done. Uh, so the next question we always get is when can I start using these on my roof? Uh, and the answer to that is very soon. So in the, by the end of July at the latest, they will be available through your distributor. I imagine your distributors will be happy to uh, stock their shelves with just that's the our one. Hope. Yeah. <laughs> that's our hope. I know distributors, in my experience, from the feedback I get from them, they, they are not a fan of metal roofs because there's too many skews where they, they, they it's hard for them to, to project and forecast what to stock and how much to stock. So the alternative to that is when they get a request, they've got to scramble, they've got to go buy it. Um, so their costs often are higher and it's just logistically more difficult. And I assume you'll be at RE plus in September. So if anyone stops by there and wants to get their hands on it, take a look. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we look forward to, uh, to showing as many people as we can. And then before I let you get going, I, I understand you are also working on something big for comp shingle roofs. Um, do you have any information you could share about those? So. Uh, I'm, I'm not able to get into full details on our new product yet. I can tell you that it will be called Nano Rack. Uh, it will be based on our Nano Mount. I guess I have to call it a railless system so people kind of know what we're talking about, but we hesitate to call it a railless system. There, there are, are certainly people in the industry that love railless. Um, in most cases, it's because it's logistically easier. Shipping, you know, 14 foot long pieces of rail around the country is is logistically challenging in a railless system that all fits in boxes so but a lot of people try railless and they they don't like it and generally there's two reasons they hate it the first being the level of precision that's required on the roof there's a lot of measuring the layout has to be be very very precise in order to get the system to go together well uh, and then the second issue generally speaking is wire management once you take the rail away you lose the thing that installers use to manage uh, wires on the roof we set out to solve those two pain points the level of precision required 
and the wire management. And we feel like we've done it. Um, it's not fully on the market yet. It's just finishing up in UL. Uh, we have shown it to, um, I don't know, probably probably 20 or so installers around the country. Uh, and that includes both current Railus installers and people that have tried Railus and hate it. And the, the feedback has been been phenomenal. The, the, the feedback has actually been so good, it's made me nervous. We're gonna be showing it at RE Plus in Las Vegas. Um, and, and by that point, we will have done some beta installs, we'll be through UL and we'll be ready to roll with it. So um, we think it's a potential game changer for the industry and we're, we're excited to get it out there and start getting even more feedback on it. Well, that is pretty intriguing. Uh, I guess you'll have to stop back on the pitch to tell us about that one too. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for stopping by to make this pitch today, Steve. Awesome. Thanks, Chris.